Warning, in this series I will read and explain body language in an objective manner. I will not purposely side with anyone being observed. Enjoy this video from the Body Language New Breakdown series. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Mastering Body Language with me, the Body Language Noob. Forgot to mention in earlier videos that I did create a Twitter account for this YouTube channel and it's at nonverbal noob so go ahead and give that a follow. I try to post information uh, regarding the channel, blogs, and I also try to tweet some tips so go ahead and check it out. But this episode is going to be another body language new breakdown episode, episode two. And if you haven't seen episode one, bam, you can click right there and it'll take you to that video. But let's get started. Episode two, we're going to cover Monte Teo and the whole catfishing scandal. And he was on Katie Curry and he was being interviewed. So I went through the whole thing, took notes and looked for body language symbols and signals and gestures and what have you. And I broke it down. So at the uh, 7 minutes and 37 seconds mark, about, we see Monte Teo show what I first thought was a tight lip smile, but after looking at it closer, it sort of looks like it's a pacifier. It kind of looks like he's biting on the front of his, on, on the front of his lip. Not really on the front of his lip, but he's biting his lip, and he's kind of tucking it in. And that kind of gives off a feeling of I'm I might be lying. I feel uncomfortable. He's trying to make himself feel better. We covered pacifiers in another episode, and it's kind of tough because it, it looks like a tight lip smile. That's what I thought it was at first, but after looking at it again, I kind of feel like he's just biting his lip, and he does it several more times throughout the uh, interview. But he actually did this gesture right after he said, you know, I, at that time I didn't know it was, I was being pranked. And then he does the lip thing. So, you're kind of like, did you really not know you were being pranked? Or do you feel uncomfortable that you got pranked? Those are the kind of questions you have to ask yourself. Like, obviously, a red flag that I obviously should have seen. But I didn't. Telling him that, um, you allowed him to perpetuate the lie. Again, at about 1929, we see another gesture of biting the lip, which I assumed was a tight lip smile, but it's not a tight lip smile. This one is definitely not a tight lip smile. It's him biting the inside of his lip to make himself feel comfortable. He's obviously feeling very nervous, and when I see something like that, Based on the questions he's being asked, it looks like he has some things that he hasn't said and he's nervous that he might get called out. So let's keep watching the interview and checking out some more clips. At some point, did you just feel like I'm, I'm in this too deep? I can't extricate myself from this whole web? Yeah, I, f I felt overwhelmed a lot. I'm... Bam! Stop right there. Look at this. This is, in my opinion, a micro expression. It is kind of tough to tell if it's a full blown micro expression because he tends to sniff after he does it. So you think maybe his nose itches. So you have to be careful about that. He does it twice in this interview. But look at that. What, what I like to look at is what is being said when he's saying this? Let's take a look. At some point, did you just feel like I'm, I'm in this too deep? I can't extricate myself from this whole web? Yeah, I, f I felt overwhelmed a lot um, by this whole circus of events. There we go. He says, I felt overwhelmed by the entire situation. And he kind of shows anger. That's anger. Snarl contraction of the eyebrows. Basically, you can tell a lot when it when he wrinkles this up. It looks like a dog trying to growl at someone that they hate. A lot of anger in that micro expression. At about 22 minutes and 51 seconds, again, we see this same 
snarl look by Monte Teo. And the only reason it catches my attention is he's, it's what he's saying when he does the expression that you have to look at. Reading body language in context. What other sounds would you hear in the background? Uh, just a respirator, you know, just hearing the machines. And it's, yeah, it's, it was very real, Katie. It was very, very real. What he's saying is that the person who catfished him was making hospital noises and creating this hospital scene while he was on the phone. And he says, yeah, the hospital, you know, noises sound very real. And he just does this micro expression of anger. And you're just like, wow, that fits what he's saying very well. And that's why I, I, when I see those, I see them as micro expressions, even though after he does it, he tends to kind of sniff, you know, and it makes you think maybe he's just wrinkling his nose because his nose is running because he was getting choked up earlier, but based on what he's saying at the time, I kind of feel like micro-expressions micro are, are uh, not being suppressed. They're coming out when he's in this interview. One of the theories, many theories, Mantine making the rounds, is somehow you created this whole scenario to cover up your sexual orientation. Are you gay? No, far from it. Far from that. <laughs> As you mentioned, you did try to see her in. Are you gay? No, far from it. Far from it. Far. Did you guys catch that at all? Far from it. Let's watch that one one more time, shall we? Are you gay? No, far from it. Far from that. <laughs> <laughs> As you mentioned, you now we don't want to jump to conclusions on this, but if you'll notice when she asks the question, "Are you gay?" and he goes, "No," that's a conscious gesture. Goes like this, says, "No, far from it, far from it." Okay, if you're nodding your head yes, and you're saying no. We have to go back to our body language rules and see that there's no congruency. I don't even know if that's a word. It's incongruent. His body language is not matching what he's saying. So that's red flag. Ding, ding, ding. High alert. Now I'm not saying that Monte Teo is gay. And if he was, there's nothing wrong with being gay. It's just that he said this whole situation happened to him and the guy who catfished him is a guy who pretended to be a girl and he has all these people asking him this question, are you gay? And maybe he doesn't even know. Maybe he's been battling with that kind of thing his entire life. Maybe he's confused. Just because he nodded his head and in, in said no while nodding his head doesn't mean that he's completely lying but I think he is unsure about the whole thing and you know he's only 21 so he could be confused about something that's a good thing to look at when someone says no to something always look for a head nod if they say no and they shake their head then you have really nothing to worry about that person's being completely honest with you. Uh, whisper my name. I, I jumped for joy. I was like, see, I, I, they were right. I, I, I do help her. In this clip, I actually noticed two things. I actually noticed Katie shaking her head while, while Monte Teo is telling him the story. Just a, a head shake. And in the second part of this clip, Monte is talking about how he was jumping for joy. And I don't really see jumping for joy in his expressions at all. Maybe you see it, but I don't. I, see, I think there was like a fake grin, 
but he says he was jumping for joy and his body language wasn't really matching what he was saying. Obviously, you're not going to expect him to be jumping for joy in a nervous interview, but it is kind of suspicious that he was jumping for joy and there was no expressions on his face to really match what he was saying. When she said, it's Lene. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do? There was a long, silent pause. And uh, yeah, I just, I was angry, just to say the least. Angry? You're angry. Since when does somebody smile like a little kid on Christmas when they're angry? So at about the 30 minute mark, he says he's angry. And if you want to learn about incongruent body language, this is the clip right here. She says, Katie says, when she said, it's Lene. Hello, what did you do? And she's, the reason why she's doing that is because a lot of this interview is not matching up. Her body language brain, side of the brain is saying, this guy, I don't get what he's, what what he's trying to say to me because she's probably picking up on the body language and what he's saying it's it's making her confused and monte said i was angry i i was angry to say the least well i don't think he was angry i actually think he was probably really happy that lene was still alive most people would feel that way but because of the things he's gone through and being in the spotlight, he realizes that the right answer on the, on the show is to say, I was mad. Of course I was mad. How can you betray me? How can you lie to me? That's what he w was programmed by society to say. But I don't think he was angry. I think he was actually really happy that was, she was still alive. He was probably surprised and angry in the beginning, but after that, he was really happy. This girl who I committed myself to died on September 12th. Now I get a phone call on December 6th saying that she's alive, and then I'm going to be put on national TV two days later, and they ask me about the same question. And at about three, thir three, 31 minutes and 29 seconds, we see some open palm gestures which I wanted to cover because Monte Teo is telling the truth in a lot of this interview. He's being very honest and it's it's an honest interview mixed with lies. So I'll give you my conclusion. Body language noob conclusion right here. I think Monte Teo is telling the truth about being catfished, being tricked being lied to, but there is hints that maybe his story isn't fully true, and there's a lot of body language within this interview that hints that maybe he isn't telling the truth completely, or the full truth. He might be stringing and holding on to this elaborate lie, and that's what I've kind of picked up watching this interview. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, favorite, subscribe, and become a body language noob today. Part of the noob army of reading body language. I hope you liked it. Have a good one. Peace.